Hi friend, David here from Learn Stage Lighting and in this video we're going to set up the Netron EP4. So what I've done is I have an EN4 hooked up on my network across the room. Why do I have an EN4 set up? Uh, because the capabilities of the EN4 and EP4 are identical, the difference is the screen and knob. Uh, other than that, they're completely identical units from everything I understand. They have the same features, they have the same amount of outputs, they have the same capabilities, um, they can both be powered by PoE, like everything's the same. Okay, so um, what do you do? How do you, how do you set it up? Um, because there's no screen on the device, on the Netron EP4, um, the best thing to do is download the Netron CLU utility, okay? Uh, right now, it's on the Obsidian Control forums, but in the future, I'm sure it'll be on the regular website. Um, it's kind of in beta, but regardless, um, this is a really helpful tool. So out of the box, your node, I'm just going to hit this refresh key here, your node is set to the IP address 2.0.0.1, okay? Um, now, I, I set mine up in, in just uh, the 2 dot range, but um, this is going to be the same uh, setup, basically. Um, and the reason why it's set up in 2.0.0.1 is because if you take an Onyx console and you turn on Artnet and you hook this device up directly with an Ethernet cable, the EP4, it's going to work. It's going to give you universes one through four on Artnet. And that's great for people that, you know, just need to know, want to set it up. It's quick. It's easy. It works. But if you want to set up and, and use the settings, which many times you do, then you've got to set it up. And, and the CLU is helpful because right now I'm on my office network, right? Where, you know, the, the IP address range is at a pretty standard range for a typical Wi-Fi router in the 192.168.0 range. Okay. Being that I'm in that range with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0, um, I can't reach the web page to configure this, this unit, right? If I pull up my web browser and I go to 2.141.71.101, so I go to 2.141.71.101, um, I think that's the right one, I'm about to find out, 141.71, yeah, we're not going to get anywhere. Why? Because it's not reachable in my current range. It doesn't mean the node's not working. It just means I can't get to it. And if obviously, I mean, if you're really good at networking, you're probably not watching this video. Um, so that's why I'm keeping it pretty simple because I know a lot of people don't have a lot of, of stuff. Okay. And so as it says, it took too long to respond, which is like my, my understanding is, hey, it sees there's something there, but we can't access that IP address. Okay. So there's a few ways to get around this. The first would be to go in my computer settings, set my IP address to a, a IP address in range such as 2.0.0.2 with an IP address or with a subnet mask, sorry, of 255.0.0.0. Okay, that's one way. Um, but because we have this awesome CLU software, we can actually bypass that and life's easier. And what I've noticed, at least in this beta version, is I can't flip it into DHCP and hit apply. Like that doesn't work. Like I try it. The, the device is rebooting, and in a minute when it reboots, we can find it again on the network, and it doesn't actually take, okay? But what does take is if I put it in my range, okay? So I'm on this, you know, basic uh, router. So let's just say we put it at 95. I don't think anything's there on my network. We hit apply. Now it restarts. Da, 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 da. I can refresh it again and we should see the IP address change. And I believe then at that point, I can click it into DHCP. We're about to find out. And I think then it'll get a DHCP address. Uh, but it's just, it's super cool. Okay, so the DHCP is just not working in this version, but that's okay. Because ultimately, I can now at least get it into a subnet or into a range that I can actually access from this computer, and then I can work with it. So this utility lets you get into everything on the inside. You also can, and this utility often kicks you out to a web browser. You can type in the IP address in your web browser. 192.168.0.95. And then it says Netron, it's loading. And then you can access all the stuff in either place, okay? So I'm in the CLU, for example. I can go to my DMX ports. 
and see it kicked me right out to the web browser. Port 1234, change the settings, hit save, can set up anything here. Do the internal cues run or save them or set up the triggers, the fade times, etc. Set up the IP address. And so right now, wonder if it'll let me do it from the web browser. We're about to, it, I mean, it, it will let me do it from the web browser. Actually, I know that for a fact because I've done it before and now I see it blinking. Yeah, it's trying to get an IP address and now it got one. And so, but again, if I, if I set it to DHCP from the web browser and I refresh the page, now I can't get to it because it changed IP addresses. So lo and behold, that's why we like the Netron CLU software, um, because it's free, helps you manage all of your Netron nodes on your network. So right now I just have one plugged in, but if I had many, they would all show up. I could name them. Firmware update is awesome because it shows me the current firmware and what's on the web. I can update it. I can hit identify, which makes it blink. Um, it's it's just a really great piece of software. Yes, it's simple, but it allows you to do things to configure your stuff easier without pulling your hair out, like me, especially if you don't have network knowledge. So that's how you set up the EN4. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And if you happen to need an EN4 or an EP4, sorry, an EP4, that's how to set up the EP4 or the EN4 or any of the Netron nodes on a network with the CLU software. If you need any of these things or anything else with lighting, hey, we love to help people and we would love to help you. So just head over to learnstagelightinggear.com. You can always contact us through our contact there. We love to help match people up with the right lights and nodes and other lighting products to make your lighting dreams a reality. Let us help you and be there to serve you. We appreciate you and we'll see you over at Learn Stage Lighting Gear. Thanks.